Oguswa chef for class TV and a yani bobo ranking as a share beam ye be din koma afa ye gana music industry. Bobo ranking. My question is are you a musician? Yes, my sister, I am a musician. What are some of the songs that you've done? Well, um I will say I started my music career from um the Pan African Orchestra. Okay. You know, and the Pan African Orchestra um that is where I should say I sharpen up my music mind, you know, because our founder, which is Nana Danso Abiyam of Blessed Memory, um, is the founder of Pan African Orchestra. And Pan African Orchestra, what they do is um, they use indigenous, our indigenous instruments to play a classical music. So that is where. I sharpen up my music mind because I grew up knowing that seeing my dad and my parents playing music. So I would say I grew up in a music home, but I sharpen up my music mind in Pan African Orchestra. Okay. R um, Bobo, are you a member of Musica? I am a member of Musician Union of Ghana. Are you sure? Yes. Do you pay your dues? I do pay my dues. Yeah. Uh, in Ghana music industry, we don't normally hear of Rasta music, or we hear, I, I don't think, if, even if you know, we often hear of they say pop, reggae, high life, and those things. Do the musical really, really support reggae music? Um, hmm, that's a tough question, you know, but um, I would just give you as it is, you know. There has been this red line. You see, there has been this red line in music that um, they always, like you say, they always sideline Rasta music. And mostly why that happens is that Rasta mostly love to play reggae music. And reggae music is international music worldwide. You see it. But um, in Ghana here, when you play reggae music, they tell you, oh, that don't sell, you know, that don't sell. Listen to her life very well. If you listen to her life very well, you can see that it feels reggae, you feel reggae in it. So me, I even tell my brethren in Jamaica that the reggae music comes from Africa. You see, it is within them when being carried in captivity. So that's how come they were able to get the reggae music, right? In Jamaica, Jamaica is a very small island, and respect to every Jamaican brethren, this Iowa, because we are all one people, you know. What I would say to my brother's home is, repatriation is the most. So they should come home, and we we'll all be together and build this nation for ourselves. So music, actually reggae music is what music are um, always sideline. Why am I saying that? They will make a put up event and you will not see even one reggae artist performing. When you get a chance to perform, then you play when people are tired going home. That's when they will give you the platform to come and perform. And who is going to know what you have or what you can do when people or the fans are tired and they're going home? You see, so I would say reggae artists in Ghana don't benefit from music because they always have this um, mentality that, oh, Rasta, you know, Rasta. I don't even know what to say, but it's so painful, my sister. It's very, very painful, you know. Yeah, I am the one who is telling you, but if you ask any reggae artist in Ghana, he will tell you the same thing, that they don't benefit from the union. That's why sometimes most of reggae musicians I know in Ghana here are not members of the union because they don't get any benefit. Some of us, because we have the union in heart, Whatever they do to us, we are still there because we know that the union belongs to us as musicians. So we will not stay outside and criticize. We would like to be inside and criticize so the thing will be good for everybody, you know. 
loving the union and having it at heart. Bobo, please, do you know Rascal? Yeah, um, Rascal Papia Levi is uh, my bonafide brethren. Oh. If I say my bonafide brethren, I mean he's my very close brother, you know? Yeah, and um, I've known him since 93. Okay. Yeah. You know, when I was in school, I used to run from school, go to the Pan-African Orchestra, I told you. And that's how I got to know him, because he was a friend to um, the founder of Pan-African Orchestra, who was my director in music, Nana Danswa Biam of blessed memory, you know. Is it the reason why you are supporting him? <laughs> no, I'm not really supporting Raskaleb because um, he's my brethren. But I'm supporting Raskaleb because of the, the qualities that is in him. You know, when you know somebody or when you are close to something that you know that thing very well, I know the problems that musicians are facing and don't forget that it's not only reggae musicians that don't benefit from the union some musicians have been members since way back but they are not benefiting and how long will this thing keep on happening so Raskaleb is somebody who is a servant you know he's a master at the same time a servant so these are people that we are looking forward to see them to to lead the union so that um, there will be no any discrimination among musicians in Ghana, you know. Bobo, please, what's your, will I say, say your way forward or what's the future holds for you in your music industry? What should we expect from you? Um, I would say you should expect fireworks. Wow. Yeah, you know, because... Um, no one knows what tomorrow will bring, you know, but we are all hoping for better or for good, you know. So I would say that my future in the music industry is going to be fireworks again. So I just say to my fans and Ghana, whosoever never hear me, I know you never... Um, play any music of mine, but um, it's out there, you know, in all the um, the play stores, in Spotify, in Apple, in iTunes, all the play stores, you know. So we, will, my fans, should just go and stream the songs and listen to it. They are very nice. Talking about streaming of your songs. Would you like to sing one of it for your viewers out there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there's this song that I love so much, you know, because why do I love it so much? And um, I compose that song for farmers. Okay. You know, I love it so much because I love farming. I love to control my food that I okay. eat. You see, so one day I was in the farm and this song came to me and I said, no. Let me heal all farmers in the world, you know, so I would like to sing that song, you know, I would like you to like sing. farming, farming in general or wheat farming? No, farming in general, okay. farming in general, I, you remember I told you, I say I love to control my food, okay. so the foods that I love eating is what I love to plant. Like talking of cabbage, carrot, cucumber, you know, scallion, onions, you know, lettuce. You can name them. <laughs> so these are the, the, the crops that I love growing, you know. Okay. So it's not about weed, okay. you know. Yeah. Yeah. Let's hear of that song. Yeah. I say, yes, big up to all the farmers in the world. You see me? This is Bobo Rankin. Grow what you eat and live and plant some crops again. Grow what you eat and live and plant some crops. Yeah, yes. If you don't know why, I beg you say, please, then ask me why. 
Farming is the work that man have to do And we tell them we go plant some crops You will see down lazy lazy say we hungry And every one of us have to plant some All of the youth, them have to plant And the big man, then they have to plant Mr. Minister, you have to plant Hey, all of us have to plant Rastafari live Bobo, that's very great, very great. Bobo, my last question before I let you go. Apart from singing, apart from music, what do you do for a living? Um, farming. Farming. Wow, 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 wow. What are some of the things that you plant? Just like I say, I like planting things that I eat. Okay. So I plant all crops of food, you know, and like you see... Um, big up to my brother Ja Wisdom of Judah Land, you know. Ja Wisdom has been another strong brethren, you know. That um, I don't even know how to describe that brethren. He's called Wisdom, and really, really, that man has a lot of wisdom, you know. Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah. Oh, please, do you eat weed? <laughs> um, yes, I do burn herb for meditation and for inspiration you know so i take herb for a good purpose but not for any other thing that you can think about you know rastafari yes sir <laughs> bobo thanks for honoring our invitation we will want we will come back again we'll go to your farm we want to see some some of the clubs that you've been growing thank you very much are hey, you watching focus tv subscribe Focus TV on YouTube. Thanks for watching our videos. See you again.